This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of trigonometry identities. Before learning verifying trigonometry identities, let's take a look at fundamental trigonometry identities. Question 1. Secant zeta is 1 over cosine zeta minus cosine zeta over cosecant zeta is 1 over sine zeta minus sine zeta times sine zeta cosine zeta over sine zeta cosine zeta then expand cosine zeta is cancelled then sine zeta minus sine zeta times cosine squared zeta over sine zeta is cancelled then cosine zeta minus sine squared zeta times cosine zeta then factor the numerator take out the common factor which is sine zeta times 1 minus cosine squared zeta over factor the denominator take out cosine zeta then 1 minus sine squared zeta use the formula sine squared zeta plus cosine squared zeta equals 1 then move cosine squared zeta to the right then sine squared zeta equals 1 minus cosine squared zeta and cosine squared zeta equals move sine squared zeta to the right then 1 minus sine squared zeta then sine zeta times 1 minus cosine squared zeta is sine squared zeta over cosine zeta times 1 minus sine squared zeta is cosine squared zeta then we can rewrite as sine cubed zeta over cosine cubed zeta which is tangent cubed zeta question 2 the first one 1 over cosine zeta times 1 over sine zeta minus cosine zeta over sine zeta then sine zeta minus 1 over sine zeta equals 1 over make one fraction sine zeta times cosine zeta minus cosine zeta over sine zeta then multiply cosine zeta over cosine zeta to make the common denominator equal to sine zeta cosine zeta then sine zeta we can rewrite as sine zeta over 1 times sine zeta over sine zeta to make the common denominator sine zeta then minus 1 over sine zeta the first one 1 over sine zeta cosine zeta minus second one cosine squared zeta over sine zeta cosine zeta sine squared zeta over sine zeta minus 1 over sine zeta then we can rewrite as make one single fraction 1 minus cosine squared zeta over sine zeta cosine zeta sine squared zeta minus 1 over sine zeta Use the formula sine squared zeta plus cosine squared zeta equals 1. Then move cosine squared zeta to the right. 
then sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. Then the numerator, 1 minus cosine squared theta is sine squared theta over sine theta cosine theta times the second one, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Then sine squared theta move 1 to the left, minus 1 equals, move cosine squared theta to the right, minus cosine squared theta. Then the numerator is minus cosine squared theta over sine theta. Then sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta, then cancelled. Then cosine theta and cosine theta is cancelled. The final answer is minus cosine theta. Question 3. Sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta times 1 minus cosine theta over 1 minus cosine theta to make the common denominator equal to 1 plus cosine theta times 1 minus cosine theta plus sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. Then make one single fraction. The numerator is sine theta times 1 minus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta times 1 minus cosine theta. The second one, the numerator is sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta over the denominator 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus cosine theta. Then expand sine theta minus sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta plus sine theta cosine theta over the denominator 1 plus cosine theta 1 minus cosine theta is use the formula a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared, then 1 plus cosine times 1 minus cosine equals 1 squared minus cosine squared, then sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, then sine squared equals move cosine squared to the right, then 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared theta. Then cancelled. Sine theta plus sine theta is 2 sine theta over sine squared theta. Then sine theta is cancelled. Then 2 over sine theta. Then we can rewrite as 2 cosecant theta. Question 4, we can rewrite as cosine theta over sine theta times sine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta over the first one is 1 over sine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta equals expand sine theta is cancelled then cosine theta plus the second one sine theta is cancelled cosine theta is cancelled then one over one over sine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta then times sine theta over sine theta this time, don't expand the numerator. 
코사인 세이라 플러스 원 타임 사인 세이라 오버 원 플러스 사인 세이라 is cancelled 코사인 세이라 then the common divisor is cancelled the final answer is 사인 세이라 question 5 in here the common denominator is 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta then sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta over sine theta plus 1 plus cosine theta over sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta equals sine squared theta over 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta plus expand the numerator 1 plus cosine theta another cosine theta which is 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared theta over the denominator is 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta then add the numerator sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta plus 1 plus 2 cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta. Then sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 1. Then 2 plus 2 cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta. Then factor the numerator, take out 2, 1 plus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta times sine theta then the common divisor is cancelled 2 over sine theta the final answer is 2 cosecant theta to subtract the common divisor will be cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta then 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta minus cosine theta over 1 minus sine theta times cosine theta over cosine theta equals the numerator 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta this one is a plus b times a minus b form which is a squared minus b squared then a part plus b part a part minus b part equals 1 minus sine squared theta over cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta minus cosine squared theta over cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta then we can rewrite as 1 minus sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta over cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta then we can rewrite as 1 take out minus sine sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta then this part is 1 then 1 minus 1 the numerator is 0 over cosine theta times 1 minus sine theta when the numerator is 0 the fraction is 0 then final answer is 0 this is the last one. Expand. 
cosecant squared theta plus cosecant squared theta secant theta minus cotangent theta cosecant theta minus cotangent squared theta over secant theta plus secant theta cosine theta. Then change all expressions to sines or cosines. The first one is 1 over sine squared theta plus 1 over. The first one is sine squared theta times cosine theta minus cosine theta over sine theta times 1 over sine theta minus the last one is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta over secant theta is 1 over cosine theta plus secant theta is 1 over cosine times cosine which is 1. We have to find the least common multiple of the denominators, which is sine squared theta, cosine theta, then times sine squared theta, cosine theta on each side, then expand. The first one, sine squared theta is cancelled, cosine theta plus Second one, sine squared theta and cosine theta is cancelled. 1 minus sine squared theta is cancelled. Then cosine theta times cosine theta. Then cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta is cancelled. Then cosine squared theta times cosine theta. Cosine cubed theta over the first one cosine theta is cancelled sine squared theta plus second one sine squared theta cosine theta the numerator cosine theta plus one minus cosine squared theta minus cosine cubed theta then factor by grouping the first two is cosine plus 1, then second two take out minus cosine squared theta, then 1 plus cosine theta, then cosine plus 1 is common factor now, then cosine plus 1 times 1 minus cosine squared theta. And then sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Then move cosine squared theta to the right. Then sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. Equals cosine theta plus 1 times 1 minus cosine squared theta is sine squared theta. Then back to the original. The numerator is cosine theta plus 1 times sine squared theta over the denominator we can factor, take out sine squared theta times 1 plus cosine theta. Then sine squared theta is cancelled. 1 plus cosine theta is also cancelled. The final answer is 1. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.